Zone. All eyes were on this guy, a bear stuck in a tree in northeast D.C. this morning. The black bear has been tranquilized. He's been captured safely. We can laugh about it now. No one was harmed in this, including the bear himself. It did draw big crowds this morning, spending several hours up in that tree. We were watching here at Fox 5. We could not get enough of this. Our Fox 5 crew nicknaming him Franklin after the street that he was found on it. in Northeast. And we now know this is the same bear that was spotted earlier in Hyattsville. We spoke with him a couple days ago, Justin Trudeau with Maryland's Department of Natural Resources, back with us here on the DMV zone. Okay, so it seems like this is how it goes, right? These bears can really walk some miles, get some good traction out there. And he ended up in DC. It seemed like everything went as planned and it went well. It did. Today went very well. You know, we, our, our agency was able to work with some of the folks in D.C. to have a very successful capture and then subsequent relocation of that bear to an area that's a little bit more suitable. I have a question. Uh, there's, I was around some guys who live in that part of Northeast uh, mm -hmm. earlier today. The speculation is that this bear was someone's illegal pet probably and he has been dropped into our area because we don't know, normally see bears is there any truth to that rumor that's now spreading throughout black twitter and everywhere else that is very unlikely this bear likely originated either in maryland virginia or pennsylvania and wandered its way down we actually have uh documentation we've been tracking it moving from howard county wow. down through prince george's county and then into dc that is remarkable. Oh. Everyone was going to spot this bear in D.C., that's for sure. If you can Franklin. Get <laughs> Franklin, the oh boy, Frank, the bear T-shirts are going to be on the streets <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. Yes, they are. And let's talk about how quickly this all happened, Jonathan, because it was spotted and then it was up in the tree, tranquilized. They were able to get it down. What's next for this bear? So the bear has actually been already relocated to a wildlife management area or a forested area back in Maryland. It was equipped with ear tags, so if it pops back up again, we know who it is. And he was released on site, and from what I've heard, everything went well. Okay, oh, just, just a warning for Franklin the bear. Oh, he's going to be spotted again. <laughs> He's gonna be, he'll be, he'll be uh, I guarantee you, either he'll be at the uh, Bus Boys and Poets in Hyattsville next or Milk and Honey in Bowie. One of those places, I guarantee you. That's probably what he was out looking for. travel. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that's probably what he was out looking for, some good food. Uh, good food, that's all he wanted. Jonathan, we appreciate you coming back on the DMV Zone. And obviously, uh, this morning, everyone had their attention focused on Franklin the Bear. That's Franklin what we're going to call the him. Bear. We watched our coverage. You probably watched it from home. And people were tweeting about it, too. Here's our DMV Zone tag board with what that reaction was like uh, today. So many people just could not get enough of this. Who knew black bears indigenous in North D.C.? Well, anything is possible, that's for sure. Our David Kaplan has been out in that neighborhood getting reaction today. He is alive with us here on the DMV Zone. Not something you see every day in the District of Columbia, David. Definitely not, and these neighbors really did react. Just to give you an idea, we are just in the middle of a neighborhood here in Northeast DC as this ambulance does pass. We're gonna wait here for 30 seconds and let that go. Okay, now, the tree that the bear got up into is about 100 yards away from where I am standing right now. It was up there. We were live. We were showing it to you. We'll do some walking and talking on the other side of these sound bites. We want to take a listen to the people who came out just to see this bear. Take a listen. When my daughter went out, she started yelling. <laughs> and she, you know, she says, come outside. There's a bear in the tree. So we, ca we all came out. Oh, it's interesting. I've seen bears before. I've seen them in the woods because I'm from, we're, his dad and is from New York State. So we've seen them in the Adirondacks. So it's, but I'm just amazed that it's this far into the city. I heard about it on the news. I was um, looking at Channel 5 News this morning. And, um, so you were watching our news cast? I was, and I got I got up, got on my bike, and rode down here because I know a car couldn't get down here, so I got on my bike.
happen. <laughs> got on his bike yeah. just to come here to see this bear. Absolutely. Credit to you heard asking the question there. Photographer Aaron Kurtz, reporter Bob Barner, the entire morning show, bringing you live coverage of all of this as it was happening. So we much mentioned this. Bear was over there. Eventually, it comes down to the ground, and we're told they sort of wanted to create a perimeter, let the bear roam a little bit until they could get enough infrastructure here to be able to tranquilize it and take it out here. It wound up being tranquilized in one of these backyards behind me here. So Joe Marina, certainly a heck of an ordeal here that has a very good ending. No. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give you five go. stars for that but one, I, David. <laughs> I like that they interviewed the guy with the real DC <laughs> accent. Yeah, man, I seen it on Channel 5. I had to come down here on my bike, man. <laughs> I'm, that, that's the greatest part of this whole story. Well, that was, it was a quintessential DC story yeah. with a protagonist that had no business. That, no business whatsoever. DC, but... We never thought we'd see that in a billion years. But here